What is going on, Guardians, and welcome to Mama Mon TV episode two. So, uh, pretty pumped about this one. This one is Bubble Plays. So, I had you guys submit me bubble clips. Um, I watched all of the ones that fit the parameters. So, I give you guys specific instructions at the end of the video about what, uh, where you send the email to, what the email includes, what the subject is, how long the clips can be. And if you followed all the parameters, then I watched the video, I considered it. And um, these are the ones that I ended up with. There's a lot of great plays that I got to watch. So it was a lot of fun for me. So hopefully you enjoy the gameplay. This first one is uh, this guy, let it be known. He is in a 1v6 control match. Okay, this is in year one, but uh, the clip is still great. He's in a 1v6 scenario and the other team has heavy. So here's how it shakes down. Yeah, motherfuckers! Come on, bitch! Come on! Now, pause here. Uh, we're gonna rewind. I just love how hyped JMP is getting right now. And uh, all, the, all the talk, he's like, let's go, come at me! And uh, it made me kind of flash back to this moment from this wonderful movie. Yeah, motherfuckers! Come on! Do it! Do it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Kill me! I'm here! Kill me! Come, Come on. on! Kill me! I'm here! So he's already got five kills, including an invisible blade dancer that he's shut down in his bubble. He's yelling, "Come at me!" He's gonna get three more kills for a total of eight kills in a one v six scenario using the never broken Fell Winter's Lie, Sticky Grenades, and the uh, Hawk Moon in year one, which was a monster. So, great plays, JMP. I enjoyed watching this. Hopefully you guys did, too. But uh, this dude knows his way around a bubble. I can tell you that much. <laughs> dude. This next clip was awesome. Comes from Destiny89. This clip has primary kills, special kills, heavy kills, beatdown kills, three bubbles in it. And he goes on a massive kill streak here in Mayhem Rumble, and this was a ton of fun to watch. He's a true blue defender. Now watch this guy, <laughs> just kind of bum rushing into this uh, bubble with the with the the pumpkin head <laughs> with a scout rifle out, like uh, like he planned on doing anything uh, with that setup. <laughs> bum rushing a bubble. I was confused by that man's tactics, but uh, it was fun to watch. He suppresses that hammer titan there, something that could potentially burst his bubble. Suppresses him. And then fires him down with the uh, the pulse rifle from Trials of Osiris, the reflection sum. This dude puts his back uh, to the bubble. Bad idea. And he gets punished for it. Now, I love the the sword kills. I love that he still has sword ammo, but he's just not using it. He's like, nah, I'm fine. I mean, I got this weak shotgun, and uh, that's fine. He takes down a blade dancer, pops the heavy just in time to pull out the sword and get another kill with it. And then another one after the buzzer. Ton of fun to watch that one. In this next clip, Lightbulb is about to show you how lucky this Blade Dancer is. Notice he's off the map, he gets a kill, manages to somehow blink back onto the map, and then get the three piece from the bubble. Now watch this again, watch this again. When he goes off of the map, it's he's on the other side of the railing. The scene is he gets a kill through the railing and then somehow manages to get back over by using the tracking on the lunge on one of the guys who's down lower on the stairs. It brings him back into the bubble, into safety, and then he can blink off of that railing and then get the front stab damage on the last guy to miraculously survive the shotgun blast and get the three piece. So he gives you a very lucky three piece followed by a team wipe that shows a little more skill instead of luck. Yeah, pulls out that Herb Benevolence sniper rifle, gets two, waits for the third to peek, and uh, centers those sights right where the guy's jumping, takes a shot for the team wipe. Now Bowman is about to show you why you only need one golden gun shot to get four kills. So there's a lot of solid red on the radar, pops the goldie, probably thinking he's gonna get a number of uh, kills, a nice multi-kill, but when he comes around the corner he sees a bubble. He takes two shots to put the bubble down, and then the fourth shot with combustion gets four guys with a one bullet. So he sits there and decides to take a free death while celebrating his kill. Next up we have Mr. Maxwell House, a man who proudly named himself after bad cheap coffee. 
He's about to get five kills without firing a single bullet. Yes, this is a bubble play that does not involve a shotgun. Surprise, surprise. So he's got those no backup plans on, and he's just swinging for days. He's got them Mr. Punchy Fists on right now, and uh, people are foolishly trying to challenge him inside the bubble in Rumble, and you really, your best move is just to leave the guy in the bubble alone. Just, just leave him be. Uh, go find a different person to engage something that's a little bit lower risk. This next clip is great. You got Isaac in Iron Banner, and there's two bubbles in front of him. Who can resist, right? So he activates Death from Above as he's getting close to the ground. Look at this. The whole enemy team is here. Five in one bubble, one in the one behind, and he's the one that's left. He's like, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> so after getting the five piece, he shotguns down the last guy for the Reaper medal. The Reaper. Now, when most people get a Reaper, they freak out. They're like, oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh my gosh. Right? This, this is Isaac's response to getting a Reaper medal. Okay? Get ready for it, your um, people who are using headphones. All right. All right? All right. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed those breakdowns. Those are all the ones I was going to break down today. So uh, I got a couple of filler ones that are sort of honorable mentions that you're going to see rolling as I talk now. But for episode three of Mom and Mom TV, well, I'm going to be featuring the best jukes. So uh, submit your best juke clips, okay? So for example, yesterday I was doing sweats, and uh, I was going against a friend of mine, and he activated his storm trance, and I ended up running around in a circle around a piece of cover with his storm trance following me, and I juked him out and made him use his entire super uh, while I did that. So uh, jukes like that, you know, uh, hunters, you guys could use your controlled jumps. Uh, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You can do some pretty sick jukes uh, with those things too. So I want to see some of your best juke plays. They can involve kills or no kills. I don't care. I just want to see your sweet evasiveness, maybe even your use of vertical space. So you submit those clips. Now here are the parameters. You're going to submit those clips. Send them to me at my email address, truevanguard32. Okay, truevanguard32 at gmail.com. That's going to be in the description if you want to just copy and paste it to be safe. So send it there and make the subject of that email so that when I'm scrolling down, I know exactly what it's for. Make the subject of the email Mom, I'm on TV episode three. Okay, very simple. Mom, I'm on TV episode three. That's your subject. In the meat, in the body of that email, just briefly describe for me what the clip is. Say, hey, this is me playing on my warlock. I'm juking out this hammer titan and broke his ankles with how hard I juked him, okay? Something as simple as that. And then you can either provide me a link or even a, the ability to download your clip right then and there. You can uh, make it a YouTube clip, it could be from uh, Share Factory, whatever it is, just give me, give me the clip. Give me something I can click on and watch that clip, okay? Now, I'm not gonna watch any clips that are over a minute long. Keep it under a minute. I don't wanna see a full gameplay breakdown, right? Um, so if you follow those parameters, I'll watch it. Uh, if those parameters are not met, I'll probably just skip right over it because I got hundreds of submissions. So I'm just going to assume that um, if, if you're not following those parameters, then it doesn't meet the criteria. So just get make sure you check all those boxes, and I'll consider it uh, for the next breakdown. So hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. I know I really enjoyed doing this, and uh, I'll catch you all in the Crucible.